Okay, uh, link here. You can see we've uh, established an extremely important trend line. Now, to, to get really bullish on link again, it's going to have to break this. But what, what is the pattern showing us? Right, It's potentially an inverse head and shoulders. Right, and the depth, we already have the depth, and we have the measurement. Um, you know, a breakout of this trend line, wherever that is, um, you know, say if it's there, it's telling us Link at some point wants to come back to double top, right? It wants to it wants to make its way back up there. So any dips here on Link seem to be good for accumulation and for a buy because, you know, if, well, we're here, even, even if from right now, from the breakout point, which I think will get a lower price, you know, it's a 60% bounce. So if we can get um, a dip on Link, right? There's quite a lot of liquidity down here. We already have a base, right? You can see that base. If we can, let me move that out of the way. If we can get a buy below this structure, right? Below this trend line somewhere, you can see a target of that pattern would be an 80% move to the upside, back to test double top. So you can see here, you know, on a two week chart, it's it's this was potentially the dip, and we maybe we can we we can turn green again, and have a I'm not going to say a Bart back up, but um, you know we could get one of these candles coming back up to test the highs on link on a new two week candle. So it for me it's on high watch, high alert. If you also look at the the monthly, um, you know it's potentially if the market is going to be very bullish, if Bitcoin's going to break out higher and all that sort of stuff. You know, there's no reason why this can't open up and have a, a new monthly candle to the upside um, next month. So I know in the past, right, in the past, we when we got these rejections, there was two or three months to the downside like this. Um, so, you know, we have to keep an eye on that. That, that is possible. I'm not ruling that out. And it, that's why I, I, I like to buy it when the candle turns green and then you know where your stop is. If, if it turns red again, you know you're wrong. So you need to play it as we see it. But for me, it has potential. If we are red like this, then yeah, we got to wait. Sometimes new three month candles love to wick up, at least wick up halfway um, to test the highs or, or even, even up higher. So that brings us back to the head and shoulders. If we can get a good entry down here, it may be worth uh, buying some link for that move up.